There is the Shiz Knight! Oh wow, Shiz Knight, you call yourself a Sonic Collector? All I see are a bunch of Pac-Man toys and an arcade machine. What a foolish Sonic Collector- Oh, the doorbell rang. Hello? Who is it? Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> Well, hey everyone, this is the Schniz Knight, aka Brett, aka the guy who has spent way too much money on Sonic stuff. Just a small disclaimer, if you recognize my voice or any of the items in this video, you've probably seen me before. I've made like two other YouTube accounts, maybe even three other YouTube accounts where I've tried, you know, putting up my Sonic collection. Um, I tried finding like a place where I could just put just Sonic stuff and, you know, in the end, none of them really worked out, so... I'm just gonna put them on this account, which is the Shiz Knight. This has always been my main account, it's where I've put like everything that mattered to me. So if you ever just, you know, wanna look at more Sonic stuff and you're wondering, oh, who's that guy? He, you know, I, I feel like I've seen him before. I'm, I'm gonna be here, pretty much. One may find themselves asking, how much Sonic stuff do I really have? Well, I guess it's a safe assumption to say I have too much. <sighs> I'm in college, guys. Alright, so to make this look a bit more neat and organized, I'm actually going to lay down this nice, freaking exotic, rare, and hard to find Sonic blanket. It's not hard, I'm joking with you, but I'm gonna lay it down so all the stupid Sonic things have a place to sit. Here. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. I can live with that. Alright, there we go. So, before I start anything, I just want to clarify, you know, two things. One, um... Any comments saying, oh, can I have this, can I trade you this, can I uh, have this for this much, it, it ain't gonna fly, dude. Um, everything in my collection, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but like everything in my collection, I deliberately put in, well, my collection. You know, I wanted it. I've been searching for it. It's something I've always wanted. So even if you gave me like, you know, a thousand dollars for this rare freaking Sonic uh, drink cup, I... Well, maybe, I don't know, $1,000 is pretty generous. But whatever the case, I'm not really looking to trade or sell anything. Just a warning, there's gonna be, like, no um, organization to any of this. It's I, I'm taking everything out of a box, um, so whatever happens, happens. But I do want to try and get the big plushes out of the way first. Um, and if I want to set other things down here, they're totally not gonna fit in the center. So I'm gonna move everything a little bit to the side, and we're just gonna look at them. All right, let's see what we got here. We have first a, oh a nice, large, GE Sonic plush. I got this a couple years ago around the time Sonic Colors was coming out. It's huge, it's like 25 inches. Um, it's very well done, almost looks a little classic. All right, who do we have next? Ah, there we go, you can tell because of the uh, freaking gold look. This is a Kelly toy, Super Sonic. 25, 30 inches, I don't remember. This one I like. Um, I got this years ago, five years ago. Um, I got it with my girlfriend in Six Flags. She actually won it for me, so. Props to you, Miranda. Thank you kindly. God, this guy's legs are longer than my future. All right, here you go. Of course, why not? All right, who have we got here? Ah, it's our favorite. It's Edgy the Hedgy. Now, this one's a little shorter. I'd say 20 inches, maybe. Um, won this from a fair or a carnival years back. Oh, my God. This was when I was, like, obsessed with Sonic. So, as you know, winning things from a carnival... You freaking spend hundreds of dollars. Gee, I don't even know how much I dropped trying to win this guy, but I won him, and I have him. And, uh, he's not in the best of shape. His eyes getting a little wonky, the mouth, the stitching's coming off. I managed to keep his tag on him. Let's look at that. Ooh. My 15th anniversary, doesn't that bring you back? To all the way back to 2006, my god. His stuffing's deteriorating. Used to be a very firm type of stuffing, now it's just all over the place. This is cracking, but, you know, it's a bit of my childhood. Damn. Not here. And here we are with the last of my big plushies. Who could it be? Oh, it's Knuckles. He'd rather flex his muscles. Doesn't chuckle. Even smaller than Shadow. 17 inches, 18 inches. This is around the time uh, Toy Network started using this really weird, shiny material. Um, I think they did it because it was Sonic's 15th anniversary when this came out. Um, it looks all right. They don't have the, they have like uh, maybe iron on eyes. They don't have the plastic eyes. Oh god, this guy's even older than Shadow. God, I think I got this when I was maybe nine. Whew, I don't remember. All right, back here we see the cavalcade of garbage and we're gonna move up here and we're gonna uh, keep looking at Sonic stuff. Ooh, ooh. Now I have a few more plushes to go over. So what I'm gonna do is actually organize them. Again, you know, I'm gonna try and organize. I'm gonna put them in that thing. This is a retail display, um, Sonic plush box that you would normally find in a GameStop or a Toys R Us or something like that, I have no idea. Um, is it Jazzwares? 
Yep, yep, it's Jazzwares. You can see the little logo back there. It's funny, I don't think I have any Jazzwares plush, but we'll go over it. Now here's something I wanted to address the minute I turned on the camera. If you're coming here looking for like, you know, my 3-inch Jazzwares collection, or, you know, my Sonic and the Black Knight collection, you're not gonna find it. Um, I'm a little picky. I don't really like the modern stuff. Uh, I don't think I ever really did. I think I really stopped, you know, caring about the modern stuff when Sonic Heroes came out. Um, I'm, a, I'm more a classic guy, and not even like, you know, the Jazzwares classic line. I mean like, like legit, like the freaking old 90s stuff that looks weird and Sonic has like 20 rows of spikes. So, you're not gonna find a lot of modern stuff here. You're gonna find a lot of the 90s, almost a little more rare type of stuff. So if you're into that, stay tuned. And in fact, you can actually disregard that because the first plush I'm gonna show you is this relatively modern classic Sonic plush. I don't know who made this, um, but it has a, you know, something that says Collector's Edition Sonic plush. Plush, my, my apologies. I won this at an arcade, or my friends and I won this at an arcade, and I thank them dearly for it. This is probably one of my favorite Sonic plushes I have. I don't think I'm ever gonna part with this guy. I like how he looks. Hmm, now where could that next Sonic plush be? I could have sworn I just had him. Oh yeah, this guy. I love this guy. You know, again, if, if that isn't my favorite Sonic plush, this one's gotta be my favorite Sonic plush. So 90s, so retro, and it shouts Sega at you. It's freaking awesome. And what would Sonic be without his buddy Tails? Here we've got another nice uh, Tails plush from the 90s. I forgot who made this. Kaltoy? I don't remember. This one doesn't talk like Sonic, but he's got a little, you know, floof on his hair, uh, head, whatever. I don't know. All right, Tails, you can... S oh, no. Okay, better idea. I'm going to set these larger plushes, actually, on the blanket and the even smaller plushes inside the box. I think that makes sense. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, that makes sense. So, who do we have next? Why, none other than my very, very first Shadow Plush, dating all the way back to 2005. Mouth is missing, eyes are scratched, uh, this is totally screwed up. I think actually his leg broke off and I had to sew, uh, sew it back on. Oh man, it's childhood. Damn, not here. All right, so clearly I was mistaken. I thought I didn't, I didn't have Jazzwares stuff, but I was wrong. Here's a classic Jazzwares from the 20th anniversary. What a year to be a Sonic. Over here, we have this nice Sonic Boom plush. Uh, whatever you think of Sonic Boom, think of it what you will. Uh, can't deny, the plush looks really good. Oh boy. The very, very first Sonic plush I ever got. And all these years, he's still in a good condition. I must, have, uh, I must have loved this guy so much, I really didn't like to play with him. Ah, this really takes me back. Alright, so as much as I praise that guy by Toy Network, here's this freaking disgusting and ugly Toy Network Shadow. Uh, eight inches, around the same size as the Sonic I just showed you. Not the childhood Shadow, but my childhood Shadow freaking died. It got ripped all up, so I had to get a new one. It's funny, these smaller Toy Network plushes are actually kind of getting hard to find. Take me back to Christmas 2005, when I was unboxing a bunch of stuff with my grandparents. You knew guy, the Toy Network Sonic back there, Toy Network Shadow, who else did I get? Toy Network Knuckles. On that day, I also got Toy Network Amy. Her mouth fell off, so I just drew one on. And then finally, to complete everything, my childhood. Uh, the same fair, the exact same time I won that giant shadow over there, I also won this Tiny Tails. Again, childhood. I love him dearly. There goes his mouth, but whatever. He's there. And I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure this wraps up all the plushes, so let's just, you know, do a zoom out. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Bunch of tiny guys, Toy Network, Sonic Boom. You got the old Kaltoy plushes over here. You got some giant Sonic plushes over here. And these pillows. I haven't gone over these pillows yet. Toy Network pillows. Oh, apologies on me. I actually have one more plush here. I have this old school guy from the 90s. No tags. Um, I don't know who made him, but looks a lot like the talking uh, Sonic over there. So, I don't think there's much space. I'm just going to put him next to talking Sonic. Yeah, no, th this is the Sonic I know. I don't know that, you know, freaking the one in Sonic Colors. Sonic Generations, good games, but that's not the Sonic I know, not the green guy guy. This, that's the Sonic I know. We're walking into figure territory now, so let me show you the figures that I have in box, and let me tell you, they're few and far between. I think I only have like two or three. Unbeknownst to me, I still have this Jazzwares uh, Sonic figure in box, classic Sonic. Man, I remember when Sonic Generations was coming out. I was in like eighth grade or something, I don't remember. But I do know, for my birthday, my girlfriend, who got me the Super Sonic, got me this as well, and, you know, as a thank you, I just have to keep it in box, don't have a choice. I mean, it looks awesome in box. Following the classic tradition, also this year, my good friend, actually, for Valentine's Day, got me this, the 
uh, Tomy Classic Sonic stuff. Um, I did have the Jazzwares Classic at one point. I think I sold them all. But I do like these. They look a little metallic, and that makes them cool. I'm going to keep this one in box, too, because uh, if I remember correctly, this was freaking expensive. Probably the rarest Sonic figure in my entire collection is this Sonic Energy Drink. Very hard to find. I think Rosaurus made this, if I believe. Now those guys back there mean a lot to me, those were the first Sonic plushes I, I ever got, but what was the first Sonic figure I ever got? Boom. Toy Island Sonic. Jesus, I mean, this is... When was this made? 2000? No, 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 you guys know more than I do. Looks like trash, but God, I mean, what can I say? I grew up with this, I played with this all the time. I put it in snow, I put it in rain, I've always played with it outside. Always, always reenacting stuff from like Sonic era. Can't have Sonic without his butt, buddy. Here we are. We're looking at Tails. Same, uh, same toy line as that Sonic came from. Uh, I'm not going to specify, but all these Toy Island Sonics, like the first wave, I actually got them all on the very same Christmas, so... There we go. There's Tails. Played with that guy a lot. Loved spinning his Tails. You can call him Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, he doesn't chuckle. That's right. Fucking Duck Knuckles, Buff Knuckles. We're talking Knuckles. There we go. And, you know, you can't be Sonic if you don't have the bad dude himself, Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman, from the very same wave. Had to super glue his mustache because it broke off, but that was more my fault than the factory because I was playing with his mustache because I'm an idiot. There we go, perfect fit. And to finish the whole wave off, who else did I get but Big the Cat? Technically, maybe this was my first Sonic figure because this was the first one I opened on Christmas. Had no idea who it was, just felt the box, had, oh god, it has to be Sonic, it was big. But, as much as I hate Big, you know, I can't deny that there's a little place in my heart for him, because he's the first one I ever got. Look at this really stupid, uh, shadow figure. Uh, Jazzwares probably made it, you can tell, because the plastic is crap. Um, I don't remember how I got all- Oh, that's right, that's right, my friend gave this to me. And, uh, actually he didn't, he just left it at my house, and I told him, Hey, do you want it? And he was like, well, I don't really care. So, if you ever want it back, Justin, it's all yours, but for now, it's mine! Alright guys, I'm warning you, now we're stepping into the very, very tiny, small Sonic stuff. Now, this stuff is, is, is more so on the rare side, so uh, enjoy, because I don't think a lot of people have these up on YouTube. Got this Kid Robot, Tails. Not really a big fan of Tails. Uh, actually, this I will... This one I can just either sell on eBay or give to a friend, I don't know. Ah, there you go. Well, what do you know? It's the blue dude with the tude. There's classic Sonic in his little classic Sonic pose. Now, I like this figure over the Tails. I don't really know why. I think Tails' design just... Not really the design, but I think the pose just really bugs me. Now, you may be wondering, where is Tails' little standee ring? Well, I'll show you. Not really Sonic, so all the Sonic fans watching are gonna go nuts, but look! It's Knights! My second favorite video game character of all time, next to Sonic. I put Knights on the Sonic, uh, on the Tails stand, so that when it stands next to Sonic, it's in scale. I love knights. Not so much a figure, more like a little piece of fan art, but uh, this is a uh, Pixel Sonic that I picked up at a convention. Uh, whoever was making this, I already forgot her name. I know she has an Etsy, she's super talented, had a bunch of video game characters. Had to pick up Sonic, we're gonna put you in front of Big, cause Big sucks dick. Ah, the ever elusive and hard to find, Resaurus Sonic. Now some people may say this is a bootleg because I don't have the accessories, but I believe it was the second wave that was bootleg, not this guy. You can tell because his uh, feet are up like this, so it looks like he's running. Uh, whatever that truck is doing out there, better stop because it's really freaking loud. Thank you kindly. Also, I know I said the classic stuff is the Sonic I know, but to be honest, Sonic on the Dreamcast, the Adventure Sonic, wasn't too bad. I actually really like that Sonic. Sonic Adventure is a fun game. The second one's good too. Here we have the really cheap and really crappy Amiibo Sonic. I freaking hate this Sonic. I don't like how he looks, and he's a little stupid, but I had to pick him up so I could play in my games. You know what? I'm an idiot. I've said I have a lot of favorite Sonic plushes, and I do. But, how could I be so stupid to ever forget this? Japanese Stringy Sonic, released in 1991, one of, one of the very first Sonic plushes ever made. Not the first, but one of the very first. Uh, very hard to find, very rare, but not too expensive when you find them. Um, boy, do I have a story to tell with this one. I'll save it for another day, but have you guys just ever had a collectible you really wanted and was so desperate to find, and you just, you know, you every day you went on eBay looking for it, and you saved up your money, and, you know, I got this when I was a kid, so I had, I had to actually save up my allowance money. It's a story for another day, but if you've ever had a collectible like that, this is what this means to me. Hard work, dedication, years and years of searching, found them. That is my favorite Sonic plush. Disregard everything I said about the others. 
I don't know who made this or how I stumbled upon it, but I have this, like, running Sonic. It's a little tiny statue. It doesn't move or anything. It's just it's running Sonic. Actually, it looks good. Again, I don't really like his modern design, but it looks good. In fact, it actually looks really good, although it is a little, like, bendy and pretty crappy quality, but can't win them all. I also have this thing. Uh, I picked this up when I was with my girlfriend. We were going, like, nerd hunting, and what that is is... We usually dedicate a whole day to being nerdy, getting comic books, uh, trying to find like merchandise in little places. Found this. It was ridiculously overpriced. Let's see what's inside. There we go. Comes with a little art book. Uh, trying to flip the pages with one hand here. Uh, what do we have here? That's text. Good. It's also a text book, but here's here's a little uh, little piece of artwork they have in there. We have this little tiny Sonic statue. It's classic Sonic. It's not the best, but you know, it's not the worst either. Classic Tails. This looks like garbage. I hate it. That's not what Tails looks like. Um, but, you know what? Eh, I like it. Okay, Jesus, my camera's about to die, so I gotta speed this up, which sucks because this is the best stuff. Okay. McDonald's Tails. Ooh. Here we have Dr. Robotnik in his Egomatic Hovercraft. A little baby Metal Sonic with uh, no other arm. I don't know how I got this. I don't really remember. Here we have a Jazzwares Dr. Robotnik, classic Dr. Robotnik, uh, more his Japanese design. Eh, I don't really mind it. Um, I really don't mind either uh, classic design. I prefer the US one over the Japanese, but I can see why people like the Japanese. Here we have Sonic fans all over the universe saying, oh, I can't wait for Tomy's modern Sonic line. Well, guys, if you actually knew your Sonic stuff, we had a Tomy modern Sonic line, and it was bad. One of my favorite Sonic pieces in the collection. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got an old school 90s uh, little Sonic slight statue. Like, it doesn't do anything, but his hands go up and this just screams 90s. It really has that US Western design that I love dearly. Gotta be careful about the nose. The nose always snaps off, but I know what I'm doing. Now we're walking in some super rare territory. We got this old school Dr. Robotnik based off his uh, uh, Western design. Uh, he's doing a little scratch in his head because he's, he's confused, he's stupid. Gotta love that, Robotnik. Uh, he's really fat, really large, really circular, doesn't do anything, just a little mini statue, but... Whew, it's a rare one, and it's a good one. Speaking of said line of figures, we have this old Western-style Tails. Again, this is the Tails I know, this is the Tails I grew up with. Uh, he's in scale with Dr. Robotnik over here. They're puny, like really small. They're just little PVC figures. Uh, they don't do anything, but they are a staple of the time. Oh, here we go. I love this one. Look at this guy. Look at this old school Sonic. Yeah, the paint's a little sloppy and he does look a little derpy, but look at his, like, freaking all his spikes and stuff. And he's really small, about this big. He fits between my fingers. Um, I just love his pose. He's doing, like, the old classic thing, like the I'm waiting type of thing. I love it. All right, we've got another one over here from the same set. This one's a, sorry, this one's a bit derpier. Yeah, you can totally tell. The paint job is pretty awful. The eyes are messed up. Uh, it's pretty, pretty awful, but... It's that classic Sonic doing the classic Sonic pose. <sighs> I love this Sonic. This, this is the Sonic that I keep talking about. That's the Sonic I know, those old school ones. Now this is from a different line, it's not part of the same line, but it looks just like them. Here we have an old school Sonic. I don't know what this is, I think it's a Sonic Underground toy. I never really watched Sonic Underground, and if, you know, when I did it was pretty garbage. But I like this one. He's angry and he's holding rings. You don't see, uh, you don't really see a lot of angry Sonic toys. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Again, another staple of the era. Oh, 90 Sonic, we miss you so. Oh, now here's one that I know some people want. Metal Sonic. This, I believe this is one of the first Metal Sonic toys, uh, if you'll even call it a toy. One of the first Metal Sonic collectibles ever made. I'm sure there was a bunch made in Japan, but if we're talking about UK and the US, this was the only Metal Sonic you could find for years, and oh boy, is he rare. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on like these smaller ones, because I know a lot of people are interested in them, a lot of people want them. I really don't like how Metal Sonic looks, to be honest. He looks a little stupid, but again, a staple of the era, so I'm going to put him right over there, and he knocked everyone over. Way to go, Metal Sonic. Probably the El de facto rare Sonic plush I have. You don't see ones. They don't make them like they used to. You think those are the smallest things I have? You are mistaken, because I still have this uh, little... Decapitated Sonic head by a string. Won this in the 50 cent machine. Don't know what to do with it, so I'm just gonna put it there. It's a little weird. Now for these next ones, they're even smaller than these, or maybe maybe in scale. I don't quite remember, but I'll tell you this much. <clears throat> these are not figures, although I treated them as such. Years and years ago, I got the ever-elusive, hard-to-find Sonic Adventure pens. 
Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't really care about the pens. Um, I had my grandfather uh, carefully take the little figures off the pens, and here we have the little mini Sonic figure that came with the pen. As you can see, it was definitely part of a pen. So there's Sonic. Who else do we have now? We've got his good friend Tails, tiny and small. And then we've got Knuckles. Knuckles actually has a pretty good sculpt, I like Knuckles. And the bad guy, Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman, whichever you prefer, he's gonna sit right back there. Well, all right, screw you. Now when it comes to being a Sonic collector, it kind of comes hand in hand that you're gonna have the games, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's worth noting that I have the entire Genesis uh, collection in box. Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic CD, Inbox, and their uh, classic game, Sonic the Hedgehog. There we go, we've got Sonic 2, we've got Sonic 3, we've got uh, the Majestic game, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, classic, I would say this is better than any game made today, Sonic's Wacky Worlds, I have no clue what this is, and get this, the elusive, rare, and hard to find, 1990 Sonic 1 prototype. Now it doesn't have a box, because it's a prototype, but uh, it, it's the very rare uh, 1990 uh, build of Sonic 1. No, I'm just kidding, it's Sonic Spinball. Oh, I also have Sonic and Knuckles. I can't find the box, but I assure you I have it, and I have the cartridge too. Now, as you saw in the intro, we have the giant Sonic Boom standee over here, and if we move over here next to my pop collection, we have the elusive and hard to find Pop Sonic out of box, unfortunately. And if we move up, we have a Sonic Boom figure in box. I believe it's the metallic one. Like I said before, it's not really necessary to go over the games you have, but these are important. I got these two signed, my childhood copies, I got these two signed, by one of the singers of Crush 40. That's pretty awesome. Good music. Good games. I like those games. Good games. Alright guys, that just about wraps it up. I'm just gonna go over here again. Thank you for watching my Sonic collection. I am, I am an adult. I go to college, I assure you. Um, I shouldn't be doing this with my life, but here I am, wasting hundreds of dollars every couple of weeks. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. Now, a lot of this stuff I actually grew up with, as I've stated in the video. It's more so the tiny miscellaneous things that I kind of, uh, bought online over the years, but almost everything else I pretty much grew up with. So, I mean, that's saying something. Now, some people may ask, you know, dude, why do you have so much Sonic stuff? Like, it's a little ridiculous. Well, Sonic's an inspiration to me. Uh, that sounds a little stupid, but let me explain. Sonic as a game has really inspired me to go into, like, you know, arts and stuff, especially Sonic's, like, design and his animations. Um, I, I, I should really make a video someday about how brilliant Sonic's design really is and how every little feature really, um, just kind of, like, explains his character without having the character have to talk or any text explain to you who the character is. I think Sonic, the Genesis games, that is, are very artistic games, and really push the boundaries of the gaming industry. Uh, if, if we didn't have Sonic, we would be in a very different gaming industry today. That much I do believe.